starts out with a clear my throat. So, uh, general service is uh, what is expected here. I can do just general service, but I think I'll reach out to the gentleman. Uh, I mean, the air filter isn't terrible, but it isn't great either. It's another one where you watch the pre-screen every once in a while. The uh, concern I have is probably with the brake, the rear brake uh, seems like it either needs to be bled or start tearing into these sometimes. I mean, the fluid's in there. Fluid looks good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, maybe it just needs to be bled, but it does not have uh, any resistance. Uh, so these plungers, oh, you can see it. There's water coming up. That plunger gasket shot on that caliper or that uh little piston you can see the water kind of bubbling out in the bottom of it uh we'll talk to him about that one and it is interesting i don't know that one's been replaced already once before it says robin manufacturing on the top of it but <clears throat> The other point of contention here, or the uh, problem, is no oil in there. There's no oil on that uh, transmission. So, you need to get some oil on that. Yeah, they may have a leak somewhere here that's causing that. Probably in the uh, pinion there. Uh, bushings look good. I mean, we'll grease the, we'll grease whatever fittings I can find here. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll pull this cover off here for the pull starter. And we'll replace the, uh, the battery as well as a primary reason that, uh, they wanted it, uh, serviced was the battery. Uh, <clears throat> I'd taken a crap and the kids like to ride it I guess over the summer when the kids were down and again yeah, why not I mean everybody likes to ride on toys uh, but we'll have to uh, address some of those concerns because I'm sure it would be nice to have a, a rear brake uh, the uh, handlebar brake lever works which operates both front and rear uh, in this particular setup at least it looks that way and uh, you know that's all fine and dandy I'm sure that's why it's never been an issue for the uh, for the other uh, unit to be replaced so I don't remember what I'm going to write down here. Oh, yeah. Write down the battery model number on this. And let's see if we can pull that cover real quick on the <clears throat> side of that. Looks like a 10 millimeter. 10 mils a meter. Uh, although we can probably get away with uh, a flips head. All right, flips head. So we strip nuts out, but it's a it's also got a nice hex head on there. And this was a uh, went to rip it and it ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that. Critters have been trying to nest up in there. <clears throat> Post-nasal drip sucks. 
lucky we can just replace the, the rope on this. Go over to Walmart and get some yard line out. Yeah, me. Oh, I gotta have a puller. Now, cast down. There you go. Think. Been a really long time since. I worked on a Polaris. And when I say really long time, I mean like, mm, Gus was still alive. And that was in, whew. So, I'm going to have to hold that still somehow to back that off. And without damaging anything. Uh. So, yep, that's it. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of this. Eevee. I did get my uh, corn pit. Carb kit for uh, for that guy. Uh, hopefully get that done this weekend, maybe tomorrow. It's not too cold out here. What we're looking at though tonight, just for a quick minute, would have been nice if I could have found the uh, the serial number, a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, a bigger garage. Uh, I think it's 10 millimeter. Got a pair of ears. Pierce, Jer, I got a Pierce, Pierce, Trailblazer. These were cute little uh, units, you know. Rip through the woods on these. Some lucky kid somewhere. Uh, uh. So, I guess, and short of being lazy. <clears throat> we got this guy here and maybe we can find a adapter for hey look at that a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while a oh, coal now here going to get down to Now that'll be a question. That one. You know where it's at, don't you, people? Let me put that away. 
Boys moving. Boys on the move. Yeah, got lucky with that one. So that should be all of them. These are all the same sun up. So now. I'm gonna have to buy a gasket kit for this. Scooby Scooby Doo and <clears throat> something preferably soft and long, but let's see. Uh, we can do this without yikes. Sneak it past all the other crap in there. Yeah. Ideally, that would have been where I wanted to hit it. And before I lose these bolts. Start at the top. Uh, try to go clockwise with these. Don't think I'm missing one in there, but one, two, three. Three more. Ah, <sighs> Mark, <laughs> make sure, double check. Another thing I noticed that while we're here is that guy is uh, toasted. Ah, there we go. Now look, some RTV that. That's probably what we'll do too. And we'll pull the four screws out of there. So uh, really I'm just more worried about whether or not I need to buy a new gasket. And I think I'll probably do the same thing. I'll do the uh, uh, I'm sure the starter gets hung up every once in a while. Uh, yeah, it's no oil. That's royal, royal no oil. Um, so we'll get a brake cylinder for that. We'll get some yard rope for that. Um, Got an air filter for it. It says it's a 5811. I swear I had a Phillips head down here. Uh, 
Let me put these back in. We'll put a little uh, You know, and technically you could you could do this without taking this part off. It's just it is definitely a lot easier. When I say technically, I mean you could while it's still in there slip this past that but it is a real pain in the butt to try to get at least in my opinion try to go ahead and get uh, your fingers in there and whatever else you know just look at the overall condition of this guy I hope that these don't break Hopefully the spring doesn't go. Actually, I may. What concern I got is. First off, there's a little bit of lube that's around. I don't make this worse. The spring doesn't pop off in my face. unwound now so Feels like it's going to wind. Why is that out so far? I feel like. See, and it's held in there by that clip. And once you start messing with that clip, I think we'll leave well enough alone. We'll, we'll, just, do, we'll just do the rope. Yeah, uh, and get the rope without having to remove that spring. But right, yeah, well, I think we'll be all right. Well, uh, why does that look so far out? It almost looks like it's ready to fall out. Bizarre. <laughs> I 
Well, I guess it's all right. I mean, feels like it should have more space in it. Uh, we'll clean this up. I got some more TV we can throw on there. Uh, like I said, you can pretty much do this without uh, and then you just have to wind it back up. That's why you take this cover off. <laughs> I'll put the screws back in it, but you take this cover off so you can wind it back up and then pop the string through it. I feel like somebody replaced this cover once before, but I cannot tell. I ordered up a an air filter for them. We're gonna order the uh, the brake caliper for this uh, unit. We <laughs> place that it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, I guess then we'll get some oil. The oil is definitely low. <sighs> this is a little bit concerning. I feel like the starter, starter is really loose in there, but it doesn't look like it's, Oh my god, yeah. Really? I'm gonna leave that alone. And we'll, uh. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. Doesn't feel terrible, but it feels loose. And you get a little sludge in the bottom here, too, so we'll clean up the gasket. We'll do that tomorrow. I'll just set the case on here tonight. What I was only interested in seeing what I needed to see, and that was I couldn't remember if this had a yeah, and if you put it in the right way, I couldn't remember this had a uh, gasket or not. So, air filter. Uh, thingy with jiggy, master cylinder, uh, oil, rope, and we'll be good. What do I have better to do on a Monday night? I'm working in my garage. Uh, just wish it was a, now, if it was a much larger garage, I'd lose all sorts of stuff. That's on my project for next week. I still, I'm still shopping around for parts for for the uh, 06 Heritage here. I'm looking for a crankcase, some type of substitute. I, I don't know. Uh, trying to finish this up. Uh, hopefully the brake cylinder that comes is the uh, correct brake cylinder. I ordered a uh, replacement kit for this because I believe this uh, piston's pretty well jacked up. And the reason I say that is you pull this off there's the fluids the fluids actually not bad but until i stick my finger in it um and then again we're gonna have to oh it smells terrible though it does smell terrible we're gonna have to look at the uh <clears throat> blah 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 and the blah 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 and the blah blahs because the blah blahs and the blah blahs and the blah 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 blahs are all blah blah up uh, I don't have, I know this gasket maker that's on here is a, uh, it's a popular gasket maker and it's a good gasket maker for this type of situation. And, uh, it starts with a T if I remember. And I don't think I have any left. Unfortunately, I... After about a year, if you let it sit in here, I bought it for putting together a Kohler crankcase a while back. And after a little while, it gets kind of crappy. It's it's like a rubber cement. It's great because it does not require a lot of cleanup. So I might try to go ahead and order some more. I, it, it's probably like 15 bucks a thing though 
like I said, the nice thing is, is when you clean up the gasket, you can be nice if this came with a gasket to begin with, but uh, it doesn't. And if I use RTV on it, the next person that goes to replace it, which will probably end up being me, it'd be really, really angry because uh, it'll be difficult to get off. So, um, ah, almost got me in the eyeball. Ah, uh, who's the idiot that had decided to go ahead and grab that paper towel, huh? Shize. That big wad of grease in it. Uh, I'll probably grab it again a couple days from now. Shame. I literally just threw that that tube out because I didn't think I was gonna need it again anytime soon. Number one, because most of the jobs I do require RTV, and I mean I really don't even need that much for for this particular situation. And I really hate to goop it up with with RTV because somebody else will be like, ah, uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. What other gasket stuff do I got in here? Probably not. I really went through went through a lot of the ooh. Went through a lot of this. And uh, this is a high temp, but this might actually be more ideal. It's not high temp. I mean, you know, this isn't a high temp area. Well, let's get the first bit. But like I said, I really don't want to put. RTV in here because it will for sure be a pain in the butt to clean up at a later point. Ultimately, this is just to keep dirt out of the uh, the case. Someone will yell at me and they'll be like, Why are you using Loctite on there? Loctite! Oh my god! Gasket eliminator! Whatever, dude. This will definitely do. There's no doubt about that in my, my mind. It's not a an area for compression or anything like that. It's it's just an area to keep grime and dirt and other things out of there. And I'm pretty sure that that will be more than sufficient for this application. I'll try to clean up this area a little bit more. It's not like it's uh, 
I mean, it's gotta be tight, but it's not like it needs to be high compression. High compression or anything like that, it's just a dirt gasket. It's literally a dirt gasket. And I feel like, there you go. I guess I should have gone back just a little bit further. And we will try to get this in here without getting a whole bunch of dirt all over the place. I really put this pull starter in a stupid place. You know, I mean, they could have put that in a better place. And You put these back together. Make sure you put your bolts back where they belong. <clears throat> and I will just be uh, snugging these up tonight, making it somewhat tight, and then I'll retorque them tomorrow because that's what my plan is. And then uh, we're going to oh, check the. Transmission fluid. I swear I felt like there was a bolt down there, but I guess not. And there it is. Should have just removed that to begin with. Good thing I got little meat paws. Radio edit. <laughs> you say we ram it home with the with the impact, we'll just tighten the crap out of them. my little knocket. I lost my knocket. Oh no. Uh, technically, technically should let that set up for like 10 or 15 minutes, but it's super cold out. So like I said, I'm going to let it sit overnight and then I will uh, readdress it in the morning. I should say tomorrow evening when I'm done, might as well pull these out while we're at it because they have a new, uh, have a new way, uh, blue, 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 42 uh, cylinder on its way. Hopefully somewhere in this mess, I have another extension. <clears throat> I thought there were three. So when that comes, I can just swap that out. I mean, there is not a whole lot to... You know, it was probably down further. I don't know. It does feel like... Yeah, there's no... So we'll replace that and uh, hope, hopefully that'll fix that. 
it said if I wouldn't have seen the water bubbling at the bottom of it, probably not a big deal. Uh, and I guess since I already got the extensions on there and stuff, we'll uh, at least uh, snug these fasteners up. Yeah, this uh, ratchet needs to go back. These can all get tightened up. You don't want to over tighten these, but you want to. This ratchet sucks. Ah, oh, Craftsman used to be good. There is a procedure to this too, as far as the. Uh, Tightening of these these bolts. Uh, again, there is no pressure, or I mean uh, compression in here or anything like that. So uh, just be diligent. Make sure you get them all, and I'll come back. Wasn't going to and decided to do it anyways, right? I'm sure there was a well within torque. <clears throat> so, uh, I think that'll do. That'll do. The starter's definitely a lot easier to use than, uh, than, uh, than that guy, but, uh, we'll, uh, get some fluid for this. I think it's dot three. I look and see. Uh, dot three. I should definitely have some dot three around. Oh. Oh my, look, it's dot four. No, that whole bottle of dot three there. And I think maybe we'll just flush the whole kitten boodle. And uh, that freshened up. And uh, he said that this did, uh, this did run, so. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, to what extent when he said it would run. Uh, kill, I don't know if that kill switch works so well, but it'll run. Sounds like it'll run. So, yep. and I got a new fuel filter for it too. They put that fuel filter in a crappy spot. So, all right. Good night. This is not good. Not good at all. So, uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but I did think it was a little peculiar that it was hard to uh, shift in and out of gear and it sounded a little clunky. So I said I would change the transmission fluid because uh, I checked the fluid and there was nothing on the dipstick. And when I pulled the plug, uh, there was nothing in there either. I'm not sure if someone serviced this before because this is a pinch bolt that's supposed to ride up against the frame to keep it from uh, jostling out. Not that this was loose, but I think that this transmission is leaking enough that uh, it's, uh, it's a problem. And uh, we'll fill it with, <laughs> with fluid. I mean, I got enough dirt in my ear now, but we'll fill it with fluid and uh, try to see if we can. Holy. Uh, I'm not sure why that. <laughs> Jeez, the Louise pinch bolt was so bad. But this, uh, this guy should spin out. Uh, 
This isn't the right size, I don't think it was. I thought it was metric. Oh. Yeah, so someone had serviced this before. Uh, I would talk with the owner about it, but it was not, was not set up or done right, and there was no fluid in that transmission. So uh, we'll talk to Jim about it and, and discuss it with him. We'll uh, we'll make it we'll make it somewhat right. Yeah, uh, you can see someone really was twerking on that pretty good before in the past. But uh, the way this is supposed to go is uh, this pinch is out. Someone had it all the way screwed in. So we'll uh, clean this plug up. A little bit here. Fill it with some fresh fluid and uh, get as much of the debris off the magnet as we can. I think that damage has probably already been pretty well done. Someone did put a sealant in there, it does look like. So, I mean, that was probably ideal. I'll put a thread sealant in there. Um, We'll use some It's not red Oh no No Oh I really didn't want to use blue on it I mean I guess we could use a little I really want to create a sealant, sealed surface. Just in case that is where it's leaking. I don't think it's leaking from there. Someone else would be mad at me about using gasket maker on that, but I'm looking at it from the perspective. I don't want it to leak again. So I'm not sure that it was leaking to begin with, but there definitely is no, no fluid in there. I mean, that is. That is so dry. I'm surprised it didn't burn up. I really am. So it's probably a true testament then to Polaris's uh, vehicle, in my opinion, maybe. Uh, their engine, their... Going the right way. I'm going the right way. Try not to get more dirt in my eye. Of course, now I can't get to go back. I feel like I was going the right way, right? Going righty tighty. go and then yeah I'm not sure who uh, who or why or what but that is definitely not how it was supposed to be done Tighten that up. You <laughs> bah, bah, you bah. Got my sandals on here tonight. Slipper gee, slipper gee. I got a little uh, thread locker on my hands. <laughs> yeah. Tight. That's what I say. Probably left that over there too. So if there had been fluid in there, you know, literally, I'm just I'm not sure why someone did that. That's not cool. Not cool at all. 
So this is supposed to go out against the frame. Sinking there. Maybe it was leaking. No, it's a solid, solid brass plug, so I don't know why. See? <laughs> Tight against the frame, and then you bring this all the way back through, and it goes tight against the uh, plug. I don't know why. Sorry, I'm a heavy breather. It's a big fat belly. Someone did that, but that is how it's supposed to be done there. I keep telling the doctor I got wheezing problems, but she keeps telling me I'm all right. <clears throat> or wants to give me a nebulizer. Okay. So, I was waiting on an air filter then on this, which kind of sucks, but, uh, and then, I gotta look at this guy's push mower yet. I think I can reach that. I try to just pump, ow, pump it in. This sort of, I don't know, I mean, that thing was bone dry. That's pretty dang crazy. Um, I think I'm gonna try to pump that in. Let's see if I can find my pump. <laughs> Who's, there's a pump. Do I have a straw? Probably no straw though. Where's your straw? That's not the right straw. That's definitely not it. Hey, Manama. Can I make something work? Can you make something work? Hey. I do not see it. I don't even know. Over here. Over there. Over yonder. You know the routine, guys. Looking for 10 minutes, looking for stuff. Probably could use that hose. Oh, if that pump, that's probably a good pump, but got a bad motor. There it is. Ah. Who left gear lube in there, huh? That might actually be. Oh, it's automatic transmission fluid. That'll be all right. Let's wipe this off. My stomach's all angry. Gurgly, gurgly. Almost. Stop that. It's almost like that was supposed to happen that way. Let's see what's going on in there. What do I keep doing with those things? I'm not pumping it right onto the garage floor, right? 
add some LED lights over on this side. Because no my luck. Open right in the garage floor. Well, that's it. One quart. 25 bucks. And it's a little bit in there. I will uh, leave with him. And if, uh... oh, of course, as soon as I got this thing in a spot that makes it very difficult to get to, but. Uh, we'll try, oh, it's purple. We'll try to drain that back down in there. We'll have a conversation with Jim about that. Yeah, let's find a spot where I'm gonna make more of a mess of already making. Yep, that's that. Uh, we're just waiting on an air filter now. Uh, we're gonna try to deliver this Monday because I am off on Monday. Thank you, PA taxpayers. Uh, oop. There's still some gooberge in there. And, uh, yeah, I would take it for a ride around the yard here, but it's kind of rainy and crappy out. Let's see. Here, grease, grease hanging off of it. It's kind of nice out though, besides the rain. Like I said, I'm just waiting on the air filter. Greased everything up. And, uh, yeah. That should make uh, this machine a little bit happier. Uh, especially with uh, regards to Does seem like a hopefully with a new air or a new fuel filter that makes that uh, run a little bit better. Yeah, it's too miserable outside. I am not riding it around. I do want to hear what it sounds like though. Oh yeah. Chips a little bit better. I'm really surprised uh, that, he didn't, that he didn't burn it up, that he didn't burn it up that way. Yeah, it's...
definitely feels like it's got more pull back there now. bit of a miss in that Yeah, so uh, definitely a little bit of a hesitation on that. But they said I'm not riding it around. <laughs> Whatever oil is using in there doesn't smell. Uh, you could probably use a better oil in there. You can see at one point they've used, looks like they used the, uh, that a blue, a blue oil they were using. And then uh, looks like maybe, I don't know if that's the Stens kind, or not the Stens, the, uh, Super Tech, but, I, uh, units like these and snowmobiles and stuff, it's just my, my flavor, that's all. I use, uh, clots, and you can buy this in gallon, uh, forms, um, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure what kind of oils you use out there, but I like this, the sten or the uh, clots. It smells good. I like the smell of it. And uh, I think we're going to get around to those tonight, maybe. I'm going to clean up my bench. This bench is a mess. Got to get that guy out of here. Hopefully tomorrow. Or, uh, like I said, Monday. <clears throat> yep. All right. Have a good night.